Welcome to Whiskey Reviews on Triple Five Gear. I thought I would start my whiskey reviews with an accessible single malt scotch that is still a little bit off the beaten path. Eberfelty 12 Year. Now, Eberfelty is located in the Central Highlands and it is a very typical Central Highlands style of malt. Uh, Eberfelty has an interesting history actually. It's primarily used as a blend in Dewar's blended whiskeys. Although the Eberfelty distillery was built in 1898 by the Dewar's family, this single malt scotch wasn't released until 1999 and it typifies a very solid base for blends. It's not surprising that this has been used for a blend prior to its release. On the bottle there isn't a lot of information about the specific make of whiskey that really sets it apart. A lot of the talking points in my opinion uh, fall straight away into ad copy as a large government warning. Uh, it is very fresh in terms of typesetting though and an attractive if not little stumpy bottle. Color is a very medium honey gold, uh, very average viscosity. You can tell it's got very straight legs. Uh, in a Glencairn, you can tell that uh, this is a fragrant risky without being uh, particularly strong. On the nose, what you'll notice initially is a kind of um, pie-ish, peachy honey. There's a slight floral note, a uh, touch of beeswax, but it's all modest. On the entry, it's quiet, it's slightly oily. The oak steps up though, and it ends feeling a little thick, especially for a 40% bottling. Now, in the mid palette, you get more peach, you get fruit cobblers, there's a touch of malt. It's fairly straightforward fruits. And finally, the finish, you're going to get a bit of spice, probably from the casks, and still strong sweetness, a slight bit of burn, typical for maybe a 12-year, and a touch of beeswax. My overall takeaway on this scotch is that it is a worthwhile alternative to a lot of the mainline 10 and 12-year Highland and Speyside malts that are out there. What you're getting isn't something particularly complex or distinctive, but it's, it's fresh, it has great strong flavors. There's not really any off notes. It is a very solid offering. One way that you could look at a whiskey like this is that it's a good daily driver. This is one that you could come to and expect a, a very reliable, uh, a very enjoyable and uh, flexible perhaps whiskey. Overall, I enjoyed it. I think it's a very solid choice for especially around $35, which is what I paid for it. And I encourage you to check it out. Let me know what single malt scotches or whiskeys you'd like to see in a triple five gear review. And thanks a lot for watching.